New data from TK shows the city has culled less than 40 deer since its wildlife management program began. That's why Kia is back with more on the numbers. Kia. Good morning. Good morning. Well, breaking down the new numbers, that 40 deer is less than a quarter of Tiga K's actual goal. Now, the city has approval to kill up to 160. Keep in mind, that's out of an estimated population of 1,000 deer. A quick refresher here, the city did allocate some money and hired sharp suitors to help cull these overwhelming herds in the area. Now, so far, data shows those cullings have cost about 42,000 taxpayer dollars. On the council's agenda for last night's meeting, well, leaders heard a special presentation on potential deer management programs. Now folks who live in TKK are reacting to that progress, one even offering a bit of a different solution. Check this out. I think the city ought to put together a plan to put food somewhere so the deer will have something to eat so they can stay out of everybody's yard. A bag of corn is a heck of a lot cheaper than killing them at $1,089. And that seems to be the heart of this debate. It's the cost. So meanwhile, it's going to be up to TGK Council to figure out how to both be efficient and effective while handling these herds.